Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing BitBuddy. Now, this is a brand new indie game from Daniel Mullins, who previously made Pony Island, Hex, and of course, Inscription. We haven't played Hex on the channel yet, but I have played Pony Island and Inscription. They're both really cool sort of horror games, and I think this game is sort of like a Tamagotchi style game, where we have to take care of our pet, but if we ever quit the game, the pet dies. So we've got to sort of stay in the game, look after this pet, and I think like weird stuff starts happening. So I'm really interested to play this because I absolutely love Daniel Mullen's games. They always have a horror element, but they're not like full horror experiences. So let's try playing this game today. Let's see if we can take care of our little Bit Buddy as it's called, and yeah, see where the story of Bit Buddy goes. Okay, so I'm going to start off just by clicking this little bit buddy and see what he says. If you press quit or close this window, I will die. That's just how it works. I don't have much to live for, but I still don't want to die. So please, don't quit. Okay, so we've got to keep this little guy alive, guys. We cannot quit, as he's just said. That's the whole idea of the game. Let's give him some food. There you go. You want some food? I'm not hungry. Okay, so he doesn't want the food, so we won't feed him. Uh, promo code. Okay. I don't know what that does. Just f keep feeding him, maybe? He says, stop. I don't want it. I'm just going to keep feeding him, guys, because I don't know what else to do. So I'm just going to keep clicking on feed. Okay, now I'm worried. The game will crash. That means I die. Here, use this. Clear stuff. Oh, there we go. Thank you. If you stay around, I can entertain you. Okay. By the way, the name's Lumlo. I should have started with that. Yeah, you should have introduced yourself to begin with. Now let's play a game. Okay, cool. That sounds good. We're getting somewhere now. So we've got this play button now. He didn't want to be fed. You know, I kept giving him too much uh, food and he just... He was like, no, I don't, I don't want to be fed. So we're going to play a game instead. Oh, balls caught. Try to catch the balls. Hey. I think you need to catch 10. Okay. Well done. This isn't too bad. It's kind of easy. They're more like coins though, right? Than uh, balls. I've caught six, seven. Hey, eight. A few more. And 10. Nice. Yay! Congrats! That was fun. Right. Okay, clear up the balls. Clear stuff, there we go. Cleaning up objects. Oh, that's a bit more of a sinister screen. It's like a black screen. I hope it doesn't clean up our friend as well. Oh Christ, oh my god, I thought that was it. I thought you did it. I thought that was death. But I could still think. But it was darkness. Okay, let me take a moment. Okay, I know the balls weren't, like, that fun. But this free trial has a few more surprises. Cool. So please, don't quit yet. Oh, there's a quest. We could do a quest. Let's do that. This is better than balls. Right? Yeah. Hey. So now we just have to hit these things. I think we have to keep them alive, basically. Restore health. Uh, I'm going to go critical chance. We'll give them a critical chance. Uh, you know, a chance at a critical hit. Destroy these enemies. we got to keep them alive still, I guess, though, right? There we go. So it looks like we're, our special meter's filling up. Uh, max health plus 10? Wait, we just took health off him. That's a bit weird. Yeah, if he dies, everything gets lost. I don't think I can even reload it if he dies, guys. I think that's it forever, so we can't let him die. Oh, quick! Oh, it's so close, guys. I don't want him to die. Give us, give us some more health. Give us some more health. Restore health. Yes. Harder enemies are incoming. Okay. We just restored the health just in time, I think. This is making me feel anxious because... 
I know, I don't want us to die. Here we go. I'll try and give him some extra perks in a minute. Hey, isn't that the little enemy from uh, Inscription? I think it is. The little slime. I can't remember his name. We're level 5, though. Just keep whacking away at these enemies. Yes. Nice. We made it. The thing I like about Daniel Mullins games is you never know where they're going to go, you know? I think we need to uh, restore our health. Again. Hey. Yeah, you never know where these games are going to go. Like, I have no idea where the story of this is going to take us. But I'm guessing it's going to be somewhere quite interesting, right? Just keep stabbing him. There we go. Uh, critical multiplier plus one. I'm going to keep restoring health. So much fun. Ha ha ha. He looks like he's getting tired. Maybe like it's time to stop this now, right? Because <laughs> he just looks like he's getting worn down by this. He's taking critical damage. Oh, I hate these things. The little smiley ones. Right, oh man. We're almost dead now. The sword, no, we're gonna die at this rate. Okay. Restore health again, I guess. Lumlo's level 8 now. How many levels do we have to get to? I'm guessing it's level 10, right? Because we had to catch 10 balls before this. So I'm guessing we just keep getting him up to, like, level 10. There we go, just keep hitting them. I don't like it when we get those critical hits, though. I have to keep restoring our health. I'm not taking the risk of losing and having him die. Oh, we're so close to level 10, come on. I just don't want him to die at this point. We can never play the game again if that happens. Now just don't get us a critical hit. Okay. Come on. Oh, it's so close, we're gonna die. No! No! Restore health, restore health, restore health. Wow, you're still going. Yeah, the sword's got blood on it now. Oh my god, we're gonna die. I'm clearing it. No, he died! Okay, that's that. I was kind of hoping you would get me to a higher level than, that, than 10. Well, I tried my best. Unfortunately, with this trial, you can't replay anything. In the full version, you can. But I would be dead. Oh no, wait, is he gonna die? There's one other thing, though. I'm not supposed to give away promo codes, but... Try Holiday. Okay, so promo code... Holiday. Hey! That's cool. We're on a boat. This is awesome. Okay. This is strange. This is nice. Yeah, it's nice. Isn't it? This is nice. I've only been here once before, but that time I was alone. And now I'm with you. Okay. We had some good times, didn't we? Well, don't die. For food, for balls. You got me to level 10. Yeah, that was pretty good going, I thought, level 10. I think... I think if you were still planning to kill me... This would be the place. I would be happy to die here. Well, I don't want to kill you, man. Like, you're just our little bit buddy friend, aren't you? Like, there's no there's no reason for anybody to die, is all I'm trying to say, you know. No? You think we should... Continue living? Yeah, definitely. Um, together? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. 
Do we just... Hey, we're back. We're back in the room, so to speak. Oh. That's... All there is. A free trial, after all. Ha. Huh. I hope that if you pay for another bit, buddy, they appreciate you as much as I do. Okay. So now we can try some of those promo codes. It says free trial content complete, but apparently there are other promo codes we can enter. So, you know, I have got like a little list, guys, that we can, we can try out. So let's try this one. This is called Hat Buddy. Let's try this first. Hey, he says, oh, am I supposed to enjoy wearing this? Yeah, it's a hat. It's a party hat, man. Like, this is a party. We've got a party going. So we've put a hat on him. What about Lionel? We've got Lionel EXE here. Oh, Lionel EXE, I think is meant to be a he hex reference. And that makes this weird noise happen. I would need to play hex, I think, to understand that. Okay, guys, so I've tried out all the codes that I can find. And I've also, like, you know, done, I think, everything that we can do now. But we haven't tried overfeeding him, so I'm going to actually start doing that and see if we keep clicking on the feed button what this actually does. Because last time we sort of agitated him and then we cleared all the food away. So I'm going to see if we keep clicking this, if there's like an eventual ending that we can get out of it. He says use the clear button, I will die. He's probably just going to die, but you know, there are worse ways to go than dying from having loads of food around you, right? I have an idea. I think maybe, just maybe, if we wait 24 hours, the holiday will reset and we can go again. Oh, that's kind of cute. So if I was to leave this game for 24 hours, which I'm not going to do because I'm recording a video for you guys, uh, maybe I'll make a follow-up video with all the secrets and stuff. But if we were to like, you know, wait 24 hours, we would be able to go back on holiday on the boat with him. And then maybe that's where we let him die because that's like the most peaceful place. Like he said, oh, you know, if I was to die anywhere, it would be here. So that could be a nice place for him to die. But for now, we're just going to keep feeding him, you know, see what happens. There's got to be an end, right? There's got to be a, an end point with all this food. A point where he just goes, enough, and crashes the game or something. Please stop. I fear the game may crash. Please. Oh, he's really sad now, man. I don't know. I'm just going to keep feeding him. I've got to do it. I've got to see what happens. It's got to be like one of the endings that we can unlock. Oh, it's just crashed. Okay. I'm going to try reopening it, guys. Oh, now he's dead. Look, we just reopened the game and he's dead. We can feed him still, but like, yeah, I don't think anything's going to happen. I'm going to put promo code alive in. Or maybe live or something, right? Have him come back to life somehow. We've got to save our little buddy friend. I think that's where our story ends, guys. What I might actually try and do is see if I can, like, get the game to work again by, like, deleting it completely and then, like, reinstalling it, maybe? I think, like, for now, that's kind of where I'm going to end it. I might make a follow-up video where we look at all the secrets of this game. Because I think with Daniel Mullen's games, there's always a lot of secrets and hidden stuff within the game to sort of search for. But that was an interesting little experimental game. It wasn't so much a horror game as it was just a weird experimental game with some like creepy elements. But I think it's definitely less horror based than stuff like Pony Island and Inscription. And I think the hex is meant to have quite a few heavy horror elements to it as well. But there's definitely going to be extra stuff we haven't found here. I hope you guys enjoyed my little playthrough of Bit Buddy though. It was definitely an interesting game and... Yeah, fun to play on the channel for you guys today. If you did enjoy this video, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I will see you all on the next one.